All right, something a little different today. Uh, I'm going to teach you guys how to graft Trichoceras. Um, this is a PC Pachinoi, and uh, they're not, you know, super special or worth anything. They're not very active for Trichoceras. Um, not even really what I would consider a sacred cactus. But what I am going to do is I'm going to graft it. This Big Mac right here. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it. Um, where you cut it, generally you want to try and cut towards the top, but this thing is huge and impractical, so we're going to cut like right around here. And you want to try and make the cut as flat as possible. And That's okay, but I'm going to take my grafting knife and also you want to make sure to disinfect your knife. Uh, this prevents things from getting nasty later on. So, after that's done, I'm actually going to cut it a little flatter because it's not quite to my liking. Much better. Much flatter. So, now that that's done, I'm going to take my grafting knife, which I just disinfected, and you're going to cut away at the sides, and the reason why this is kind of done is uh, so that way when this dries, the skin will kind of curl a little bit, and you don't want it to curl uh, and affect how your cactus, uh, how the graft sticks to it. Because uh, sometimes the skin will curl and push the graft right off, or your scion right off. By the way, the scion is the part that, the thing that you're actually grafting. So yeah. That's about what we're looking for. All right, and now we're going to take our Mac right here, and I'm going to cut it a bit off camera. Once again, uh, you want to disinfect your knife. Every time you cut, you want to disinfect. So I'm planning on grafting three parts of this, so I'm going to cut it into in half and then I'm going to cut it uh, one half in half but leave the other one intact. that and we're going to push it on and then we're going to get our trusty rubber bands we're actually going to get our trusty grafting tape or you can use uh, like cling wrap something like that that works too it really doesn't matter and I kind of put it into like a bunch and then break it off like that just easier You 
to get it on there relatively tight. And then you're going to take your rubber band. This part's kind of tricky, not going to lie. The first part, anyways. Run it through. Get it nice and tight. okay if it slides a little bit in the process just write it uh, make it right when you're done and you're gonna repeat that uh, until you get it like all the way on there and all right, and here's the final product. I actually switched up my method midway or right after I had finished the, the last part of the video just because I'm used to using that method with smaller cactuses and these guys are pretty thick and my rubber bands are usually made for doing smaller cactuses. So it wasn't really working with the, the plastic wrapping over the, uh, the rubber band over the plastic and using the plastic to hold down the scions. Um, so instead what I did was I clipped rubber bands and had these holding it down and hopefully um, this should work. I mean there's a, a good amount of tension. Uh, you want it to be pretty tight but not so tight that it like um, crushes your cactus. You know you don't want to like smush them. Um, but you do want a pretty, uh, pretty damn tight fit. Um, it has to form a seal you know. Um, but yeah. Uh, I hope you guys will learn from this and um, when you're done uh, especially if you live in a humid state or if your weather is humid at the time mine's not so I'm not really worried about it um, but if you do I recommend sprinkling sulfur on the open wounds it'll dry it up and close it up and keep any you know nastiness from happening what I do instead is I spray a little bit of liquid copper copper is also a fungicide so it keeps you know mold and rotting from happening um, but, you know, that's just what I like to use. Some people use sulfur, and sulfur's fine. Uh, I use sulfur for a lot of stuff. But, uh, yeah, so in about uh, two, maybe three weeks, I'll take off the rubber bands, and uh, we'll know then if the, the graft took hold, because um, it'll be sealed, and um, a little bit after that, we should see some pups coming out of the scions. So, um, one of these, like you know, aerials will start to bulge and a pup will pop out. Sometimes it comes at the side, sometimes the top. Really depends. Uh, but yeah, uh, I hope that was informative and helpful. And um, You can use just about any uh, Trichoceris. Um, you can also graft them to Ceris. Um, uh, but there's a bunch of different cactuses you can graft them to, honestly. Um, but it works best, in my opinion, with PC San Pedro, just because they're, they're, they're the same genus of plant. They're, they're already very similar. Um, I don't just use PCs. Um, just use Trichoceris in general. I'll also sometimes use uh, the Specianus. Specianus work really well for this, too. Um, so do Grandiflorus and, uh, and Chicken Danzii, which that's a shick right there. I believe these are Grandiflorus, or possibly a hybrid of Grandiflorus. I don't know. Um, also, something I wanted to show you guys. Here are all of the seeds from last video. Um, probably thousands in here. Um, a lot, a lot. Uh, just from like five or six fruits. So yeah, good stuff. And uh, you can learn how to propagate these seeds in the last video. But yeah, later.